this video, we're going to think about how we can identify variables in some scientific experiments. In an investigation, the independent variable is the thing that we change each time. The dependent variable is the thing that we measure and then record in our results table. And the control variables are the things that we keep the same every time to make sure it's a fair test. For this experiment, I'm going to change the number of batteries to a circuit and record down the brightness of the bulb. Can you name the independent variable, the dependent variable, and any control variables that were important for this experiment? In this experiment, I will be adding hydrochloric acid to sodium thiosulfate, and the mixture will react and turn cloudy. I'm going to time how long it takes for the mixture to turn cloudy enough that you can't see the cross underneath the conical flask and I'm going to change the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate each time. I will use the high, then the medium, and then the low concentration and see if there's any difference in the time taken for the mixture to turn too cloudy to see the cross. I will add exactly 25 centimetres cubed of acid each time. And I will add exactly 25 centimetres cubed of the th sodium thiosulfate each time. Before I add the sodium thiosulfate, I get my stop clock ready. And I'm going to start the stop clock at the same time that I add the thiosulfate. and I will stop timing when I can no longer see the cross through the liquid. And stop. I shall now repeat the experiment, adding 25 centimeters cubed of acid to 25 centimeters cubed of the medium concentration. Finally, I will repeat the experiment using the low concentration of sodium thiosulfate by adding another 25 centimetres cubed of acid to 25 centimetres cubed of the low concentration. And these are my results from the experiment. Can you find out what the independent variable, the dependent variable and the control variables were? So in this experiment, I want to find out which of the four balls is the bounciest. So I'm going to take it in turns and drop each of them from the height of exactly one metre, and then I'm going to look to see how high they bounce. And these are my results from the experiment. Can you find what the independent, the dependent and the control variables were?